Hi Ness Gang, it's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video. This time I'm doing a nail tutorial. I'm going to do a voiceover with this tutorial. I'm using a practice hand, a silicone practice hand that I bought from Amazon for about $69 total. Um, and also as a disclaimer, I just want to let you guys know, I don't do those flat nails. All of my nail sets that I complete are curved. So if you don't like curved nails, then this probably won't be a video for you. I'm not talking extreme curve, but there is a curve. If I don't like flat nails. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I've double tilt these nails and I want to do the stiletto shape today. It's a freestyle. So I'm going to cut, use my shears to cut the nail into the stiletto shape. And I want the shape to be as close to what the shape should be like um, at the end of the set. Now, of course, it ain't going to be perfect, but y'all get the gist. Make it, make it, cut them how you want it to be at the end so you don't have to do a lot of shaping and filing. So just a disclaimer, you may notice that the nails are moving from the nail bed. That's not going to happen, of course, when you are dealing with a real live person. Um, but just keep in mind that this is a mannequin hand. So the nails are going to be a bit shaky. Um, but for the most part, you do get the full um, or as close to the full um, experience as you would if you were um, doing a live client um it does look a little bit shaky i tried to stabilize the video um but it's because i use both my left and my right hand when i am shaping and filing um it helps me to perfect a shape the shape whatever shape i'm doing getting a little bit more crispier um so just keep that in mind So for this next scene, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I want you guys to be sure that you let your bead sit on the brush before you directly apply it to the nail. Um, that's very important so that your acrylic is not runny um, from experience. Instead of like waiting, I used to just like pick up the bead and directly place it down on the nail. You don't do that. You pick up the bead and you wait for a few seconds, let it saturate, let the monomer saturate the polymer, and then once you place your bead down, you have more control. That is the process of polymerization. So what I'm going to do um, in this scene is while my acrylic is still a bit saturated before it hardens completely, I'm going to go ahead and add a few butterfly stickers. With these butterfly stickers, um, you can either add them on the top of the nail after you've buffed um, or you can add them like encapsulate them. So I'm kind of going to encapsulate these. Just be careful um, with these because if you don't push it down into the wet acrylic enough, you'll end up filing it off if you don't make the acrylic thick enough to cover the entire sticker. Just so, so beware of that. You 
so I'm actually just gonna slow this scene this part of the video down because I want you guys to see how I'm placing my bead um, so this is gonna be an ombre nail um, I'm starting with this blue aqua color um, and when I put my bead down do you see how I'm tilting the finger down you want to tilt the finger downward so gravity can pull the bead down and you don't have to work it down that's how you get your acrylic smooth if you're patting you can pat but if you're forcing it down it's gonna be lumpy sis Okay, I just forgot to give you guys, I'm gonna give y'all a pro tip. Um, so whenever you finish your acrylic application on one nail and you've encapsulated, you're done with the cuticle bead and everything, you want to make sure that you go over the nail um, with a brush, with a wet brush. You don't want it wet, wet, but you want it like dry wet. Like you want it not soaking, but you do want it wet. And you wanna like pat down um, on the nail just to make sure that there is no buildup of acrylic. Please do that. That'll also, if you don't do that, you'll probably, if you ain't laying it perfectly, it'll be bumpy. Somebody gotta tell you. It's a boy reach. So one of the reasons why um, I was not successful um, when I very first started doing nails to me um, was I did not stick with one brand and one system. Please select one system and stay with it. Use the full line, use the color acrylic, use the clear, the white, use their monomer. Don't skip around. Some monomers are compatible with all systems, but for the most part, you want to stick with one system. I use iGel um, technology, but um, it's really up to you. Um, I'm using currently iGel and the um, white color that you see, that opaque white, is not um, iGel's color. I actually made that color from clear and white acrylic.
So if you notice, I don't encapsulate my nails right away. What I do is um, I lay the acrylic down and I do my design while I'm laying my acrylic. Let that dry and then I come back um, to encapsulate because I want my design to be dry and I don't want the clear um, my, uh, polymer to... Um, move any of the design I normally also do that when I'm doing ombre I did not do that on this set um, because this is not a live client so I can do that if it was a live client I would not I would wait um, and move on to the next nail before I come back to um, do that ombre effect but that's just another one of my tips you definitely don't have to do it that way but I do it so that my Design is not moved out of place. Now, I am kind of struggling with the thumb right now. Um, and that is because if you know me personally, or, you know, if you follow me or whatever, I have a daughter. She is almost one year, um, but I am still breastfeeding her. And she's on my lap while I'm recording. <laughs> and she's trying to eat. So, she kind of like trying to eat. And then she trying to also watch what i'm doing so please forgive me how i laid this um nail down was not as perfect as the other four nails but little mama wanted to eat so we can't take that from her So here, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my shape. I don't really have to do much because, like I said, um, when I went to shape my nails, when I cut it, I cut it into as close as I could to the stiletto shape that I wanted to see. So, um, I just cleaned up um, the shape of the hand file and then I always turn my client's hands to the opposite way so that I can see their view. Um, and I file just to be sure that nothing's crooked. And we are approaching the end of the video. Um, what I'm going to do after this is just buff the nail. And then I'm going to apply um, a top coat here. 